Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinaz.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinaz app. A coin collector, this highly elusive 1969s Lincoln cent with double dial words. Extremely rare choice, full red example and mean state 64. The publicity this coin has received over its lifetime has been enormous, hence the very high values which are well deserved. This is a very rare strong double die. One does not even need a loop to discern wide, pronounced doubling to all of letterings and digits on the obverse, the spread appearing to grow towards the left border. It is an attractive piece with warm, even medium orange luster to both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind and most are small as to be easily overlooked by unaided eye. Sold for $86,250 at Stax Powers. Here is 1947 Lincoln Cent in Mean State 67 Red where it's scarce in this condition. Inviting pinkish rose surfaces exhibit an overall smooth sheen to full frosty textured luster. Solid superb gem quality with a sharp strike that further enhances already strong eye appeal. Sold for $9200 at Stax Powers. Moving on to this 1966 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 65 with full steps. The 1966 Jefferson Nickel is of little importance to anyone but dedicated registry collectors who actively seek out high-end pieces with full steps definition. In full steps, the 1966 is incredibly rare. This gem example displays brilliant, semi-reflective surfaces and sharp devices with near the full central definition. Only a few light marks are seen beneath the loop. Sold for $6,300 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1976 S Silver Bicentennial Quarter in Mint State 69. The Silver 1976 S Bicentennial Quarter is an issue not typically seen in an auction setting unless, of course, it is PCJ certified MS69. This top grade registry coin is frosty and brilliant, showing a sharp strike and virtually flawless surfaces. Metal composition is 60% copper and 40% nickel. Sold on December 21, 2021 for $6,600 at heritage auctions. Here is 1922D Lincoln sent in MS65 brown condition. A loop is required to discern faint remnants of a ghost D mint mark, thus confirming this coin as a weak D error from 1922D Lincoln sent issue. The surfaces are beautiful and nearly as struck, showing full satiny luster to across areas. Pale golden color shows at the centers of each side and is surrounded by cool turquoise hues. This particular die pair has provided collectors with both no D and weak D examples of the 1922 D cent. The reason for the partial or total lack of mint mark on examples of this variety is the mint mark cavity became clogged with grease and the contaminants. Sold for $6,000 at Stax Powers. This is a 1990 prestige proof set with no S Lincoln cent. The coins are housed in the original case and box as issued by the mint. The key item in this lot, of course, is the 1990 No S Cent, an elusive modern mint error that has grown tremendously in, in popularity in recent years. Sold for $3,840 at Stax Powers. And this is 1964 DE over D Jefferson Nickel, the famous Repunch mint mark variety. Graded in Mint State 65 Plus by PCGS, the repunching on the D is plainly visible beneath the loop on this popular cherry pickers variety. These high-end gems sharply struck in most areas save for on the steps where slight softness is seen. A few small marks on Jefferson's cheek limits the grade. Sold for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, hit the thumbs up button if you liked our video. Have a nice day.